Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we want to build the main high-level UI, all right? So let's select a single view application, all right? And in the product name, uh, I'm gonna use uh, iOS a restaurant app, okay? Feel free to name this whatever you want. For the language, we're gonna select Swift, and for the user interface, it will be the storyboard. And we're not gonna check any of these options over here, okay? So let's click the next button, and I'll be saving my project in my desktop. Feel free to save it wherever you want. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is to add a collection view into our uh, into our view controller. So let's come to the main storyboard, and then I'm going to click the plus button and just filter this by collection view. So let's bring in a collection view, and I want to just pin this uh, from the top edge to the bottom edge. All right, we want to make sure that this fills the entire screen. Okay, so let's click on this uh, auto layout button, and let's make sure that it's zero from all sides. So uh, just ensure that we are not uh, just ensure that we are not using the safe area. We want to select view over here. So this is a little bit tricky. So just make sure that we are uh, we are we are conforming this to the to the view instead of the safe uh safe layout guy. Okay, is that what it's called? Safe area. Okay, that's what it's called. Okay, so let's add the four constraints over here. So I just want to expand this cell a little bit over here. Okay, we are, we'll be working on this in the subsequent videos. Okay, next thing I want to do is to create a IB outlet. So let's come to the view controller itself and maybe let's uh, rename this, okay, to onboarding view controller so that we give it more context onboarding view controller. Okay, then let's create an IB outlet over here. So let's type in IB outlet. Is it working? IB outlet. Oh, it's not working. Here we go. IB outlet week var collection view. And this will be of type UI collection view. Let's put the exclamation. And then let's come over to the main.storyboard and let's connect this IB outlet. So what I'm gonna do is to just right click over here. And then this should open a panel like this. We see this collection view IB outlet that we just created. So let's click on this and just um, drag over to the collection view itself. Release this so this should be connected. And also since we are on the storyboard itself, let's also just uh, create a identifier for our cell. So just ensure that the collection view cell is being being selected let's come over here to the property inspector which is this uh, icon over here and for the identifier let's type in cell ID all right so it's um, cell ID over here let's come back to the onboarding view controller and the next thing we want to do is to just set up our collection view so let's call uh, setup collection view let's uh, create this function at the bottom over here whoops okay so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna just add the data source uh, to self. We also want to make the um, the delegate to be the self as well. And then when we collect, when we create this collection view, we have to create a layout as well. So what we can do is uh, let's see, let's create the layout first. So let layout equals to UI collection view a uh, flow layout let's initialize this and then we're going to specify collection view dot collection view layout equals to this flow layout over here all right so what this layout allows us to do is to specify some properties so i'm going to say layout dot uh, scroll direction equals to vertical all right so we want to be able to scroll vertically instead of horizontally all right guys so now it's complaining okay again please don't uh, click this fix button because it's not going to work what it means is that we have to conform to the collection view uh, protocols so let's create an extension over here extension on boarding view controller let's conform to ui collection view uh, delegate okay we also want the ui collection view data source and the last thing we need is ui collection view delegate flow layout okay so let's uh, open up the braces over here so i think this should disappear in a while yep okay over here now xcode will prompt us to add the protocol stops so let's hit the fix button over here so in this uh, function number of uh, items in section maybe let's return a uh, five for the for the time being and uh, under the cell for item add we have to return a ui collection view cell so let's create that right now so let's sell equals to collection view dot dq reusable let's select the first one and then we want to pass in the uh, uh the reuse identifier which is this uh string over here which we specify over here all right so guys this has to match with this okay and then let's pass in index path okay and then we're going to return the cell as well okay so uh if i'm to run this right now i think i will just see 
white spaces because uh, the cell by default do not have any color. So let's do a cell dot background color equals to red. So let's run the app right now and let's see what we have. I believe we should see five small little square cells. So let's have a look. Do we have anything? No, we don't. Oh, what's, what's happening? Oh, we do. All right. The simulator took a while to load. Okay. So uh, we want the cells to fill up the entire screen. So what we can do is that we can uh, call this function here called size for item at, and this requires us to return a CG size. So what we can do is that we can, uh, we want the cell to take up the entire uh, screen size itself. All right. So we know that the collection view is already taking up the entire screen size. So we can uh, actually use the, uh, the width and the height of the collection view. All right. So what we can do is let's do let with item width equals to collection view dot bounds dot width. Uh, let item height equals to collection view dot bounds dot height. So we are going to return a CG size because uh, we have to return a CG size over here. So let's return CG size. Let's initialize this and maybe we can select the one that's, that has a CG float. And then for the width, let's just pass this in and for the height, we can pass this in as well. All right. So I'm going to remove the empty spaces over here and we run this um, app one more time. So yep, we should see the um, collection view taking up the entire space. But notice that we have this white space at the top over here. So this is the status bar. And also we do have a white space that's separating each a cell. So we have to set some properties to fix that. So let's come all the way to the top uh, under the setup collection view uh, function. And then uh, to remove the uh, space at the top, uh, we have to set this content inset adjustment behavior and we're going to set this to never. Okay. So let's uh, run the app one more time and let's see if this uh, fixes it. All right. Yep. So we don't see this anymore. And then if I'm to scroll down, I still see this white space at the bottom. Okay. Of each cell. So I have to set another property over here. So I believe the property is a minimum. Okay. We need this one. Okay. We need um, minimum line spacing for section add. Okay. And I'm going to just return zero. So let's uh, run the uh, app one more time. And I believe uh, we wouldn't, we would not see the, um, the space anymore. All right, guys. So now it's all red and it's really hard to tell the cells apart. So what we can do is to just uh, create some colors uh, over here. So let's do a uh, var color equals to UI color dot clear. And then we're going to do um, if uh, index path dot item uh, modulus, uh, sorry, modulus two equals to zero. Then we do color equals to dot red. Uh, else, uh, let's do maybe color equals to dot blue. All right. So let's just put in the color over here so we can tell the uh, cells apart. I'm going to run the simulator one more time. So we have red and I believe we should see blue and then uh, so on and so forth. Okay. So now I want to have a bit of the paging effect. Okay. So I want this uh, cell to snap whenever I scroll. So what we can do is to come over here to the setup collection view method and then let's do collection view dot is paging and a, but let's set this to true. All right. So let's run the app one more time and I believe we should see this effect. Okay. So when I release notice that uh, it snaps to place over here. Alright guys, uh, this is all I have for you in this video. I think uh, I'll see you in the next one.